miles. 26 miles, 385 yards. And there's Queen Alexandra in the stadium awaiting the runners. And now into the stadium comes Dur Durando Pietri. He runs the wrong way, and they try to put him on the right path. And now he's totally exhausted. He doesn't know where he is. And uh, he's just 300 meters away from victory, and there he stops. And now he collapses, and he falls down onto the track. And six times he fell down, and six times they raised him up. Meanwhile, Johnny Hayes of the United States is about uh, a quarter of a mile behind. And they work over Durando Pietri, but they can't revive him too well. But finally, they get him up on his feet. And this is where the tragedy of this marathon took place, because the crowd was now fearing for this uh, brave Italian's life. And they once more are on his feet, he starts towards the finish line, but you'll see a couple of guys holding on to him as he crosses the finish line. He was disqualified because they assisted him across the line. Uh, and Johnny Hayes, who was uh, 100 years old, that's, 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 that's one of the great tragedies of, of, of that's the That's really so sad. But Queen Alexandra was so amazed and uh, by his performance, she gave him a, a royal cup the next day instead of an Olympic gold medal. That was a very, very touching piece of film. It's uh, uh, the stories that have come out of, of the research that we've done. The pistol shooting champion, Carly Takaj, has his right arm blown off as he's preparing for the Olympic Games. He goes into seclusion. People think that he might be committing suicide or something because he won the winner gold medal. They find out what happened to him. For two years, he was training with his left hand. He wins the gold medal with his left hand in 1948. That's and it's, it's just, that's the Olympic spirit to me. Yeah. That's